boom we are live ladies and gentlemen boys and girls welcome to the nolan hawkeye anthony youtube channel and i thank all of you for being here wherever you may be and of course however you may be listening it's been a little while since i've done a video I'm trying to think back what my last video would be i think it was a couple of weeks ago reacting to the Iowa Hawkeyes men's basketball team losing in the first round of the NCAA tournament. Today, uh, we will be looking at Jack Campbell's little brother, Drew Campbell, Drew Campbell, excuse me, who recently committed to the Iowa Hawkeyes. Uh, this is a fantastic get, uh, a get that Iowa has been really striving to uh, just do in general of late uh, because they've had a lot of success with it over the past five years. People with connections with with the bloodline that Iowa has had direct contact with, you know, whether it be a father or uh, 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 an uncle or whatever, uh, a brother to, who has played for the Iowa Hawkeyes. The Iowa coaching staff really likes that they like uh, recruits who have good, strong families. Um, and I, I just want to say also, it has been definitely a little while since I've done a recruiting profile, just because towards the end, there's, re there's commitments that are popping off left, right, and center. And so it's very difficult to keep track of it. And in the end, I'm always a little bit hesitant to do commitment videos because down the line, said player can decommit and end up not even playing for the Iowa Hawkeyes. I mean, one of my wo most watched videos was Caden Proctor and he didn't even end up playing for the Iowa Hawkeyes. Now in the end, it was still great content. Um, and I don't regret making the video, but you know, you always have that possibility. So without further ado, let's get into this drew Campbell defensive end. He has a very similar, uh, composition height, as his brother, six foot four, long, uh, kind of more lean, uh, especially as a youngster. Um, I think Drew Campbell, I think he's probably a junior. Um, he probably has some room to grow. By the way, if you're not subscribed, be sure to smash that subscri uh, subscribe button. I want to get to 2,000 subscribers uh, by this time or when football season, this next football season starts. Um, so if you can help your boy get there, it would be much appreciated. Um, Drew Campbell, like I said, he's six foot four, 225 pounds. So he's slightly bigger than his brother uh, off the rip, but they have a lot of the, a lot of similar attributes. You know, Drew uh, Jack was six foot four, probably low two hundreds, high one nineties coming out of high school, very lean for a linebacker. Uh, I mean, he was almost even seen as a tight end because he was so lean. Same thing with Drew Campbell. I mean, for a defensive end, 225 is still very, very light. Um, and so they, they have that s similarity. I think because Drew is, I believe he's only a junior in high school, I wouldn't be surprised if he ends up having one or two, maybe even three more inches that he can grow uh, by the, when it's all said and done bef before his time begins at the university of Iowa, um, here, you guys can see his recruiting rankings. I'll go ahead and zoom it in a little bit, uh, on three has him as the second best player in the state of Iowa. Again, very similar to his brother, um, kind of came out of nowhere. I mean, not nowhere, nowhere, but wasn't, in the state of Iowa, there's always the initial three or four players who are known right off the bat because they play varsity as freshmen and sophomores. And then there's the rest of the guys that come on who uh, probably go to bigger high schools and, and maybe didn't play varsity as sophomores and freshmen. Um, so, you know, Drew was not one of the initial crops of guys uh, coming out of the state of Iowa that was highly uh, talked about, but nonetheless, here he is uh, on three has him ranked as the second best player in the state of Iowa and has him as a four star top 250 player uh, in the country. And to me, 
he should be almost a lock as a four-star guy, especially considering what his brother did. He obviously has the athletic traits, the athletic tools um, to, to not only play in the Big Ten, but to be one of the best players in the Big Ten. Um, on three, I'm starting to like their recruiting site more and more. Has Grant Bricks as the top player in the state. Uh, he was kind of a late riser as well. He wasn't one of the initial crops, uh, uh, guys in the initial crop. Um, uh, they have a grade for him as a 92. Iowa is definitely in contention for his services. He did not grow up as an Iowa Hawkeye fan. I believe he actually grew up as a Michigan State fan, if I remember correctly. But they are still very much in the running for him. Brevin Dahl, according to on three, is the third best player in the state. Iowa is highly favored to land his services. Uh, running back, um, uh, grew up at he actually grew up as an Iowa Hawkeye fan. Cody Fox uh, is fifth, one of the early Iowa Hawkeye commits. Cam Buffington, um, Derek uh, Weiskopf, and I fully expect Derek Weiskopf uh, and Cam Buffington to um for their rankings to propel forward Derek is actually uh a four star and the second best player according to 247 sports which I will also show their ranking of the state of Iowa uh but some these things take time just because it's ranked as this now doesn't mean you know because in the end these recruiting services have to get around to evaluating all these people but this is uh, this is going to be an excellent, I mean, it's just been back to back to back to back, great recruiting crops in the state of Iowa. And I've told you guys this many times, and I'll tell you it again. This is a direct result of Kirk Ferentz and his prolonged prolonged success in the state of Iowa. The, the guys who played for him uh, and people associated with his program have returned back to the state and have given back to the young guys, the, the young athletes in the state of Iowa. Jacob Simpson uh, on three is very high on tight end out of Johnston. He visited Iowa, but Iowa has not offered him yet. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, Iowa has taken two tight ends in the past two recruiting cycles. So perhaps they're being a little bit more diligent. Eric all, of course, uh, you know, has two years of eligibility left and is now an Iowa Hawkeye. So maybe, the the scholarship is a little tighter uh than than realized and and so they're just being a little bit more diligent with who they offer at the tight end position um Preston Reese uh is also a commit for the Iowa Hawkeyes and of course Titan Cram, Titus Cram uh another running back out of the state of Iowa uh is uh who is definitely favored to go to Iowa Iowa is definitely in on um, if Iowa could get both running backs out of the state of Iowa, that would be phenomenal. But anyways, this is about Drew Campbell. Let's go back to Drew's uh, recruiting profile. 247 Sports has him as a high three-star and 88. Rivals has him as a 5.5. Rivals is always kind of the outlier. They are never in totally in step with, with the rest of the industry. Um 5.5 is is quite low considering the other two services has uh, him as a top seven in-state player. Um, so let's take a look at 247 Sports. Uh, or excuse me, top five. Um, so he's fifth according to 247 Sports. Iowa, according to 247 Sports, well, let's just look at this. According to On3, Iowa has... Um, two of, I believe it would be two of the top five in-state players thus far. I always say Iowa's goal should always be to land two or three of the top five in-state players. It, preferably they'd get all five, but of course that can be difficult. Um, on three, they have two of the top five guys and they have, let's see, one, two, three, four. Four of the top 10. Now, I think Preston Reese should absolutely be top 10. Um, and he will be soon enough. But they have four of the top 10 already. 
Uh, Preston Reese should be top 10. And this is on three. Uh, Brevin Dole is, is uh, top five and he is favored to go to Iowa. So, so they could have uh, five of the top 10 here in, in a matter of weeks. Um, According to 247 Sports, they also see Grant Bricks as the top in-state player. Derek Weisskopf is committed to the Hawkeyes. Cody Fox, Cam Buffington, Drew Campbell, Preston Reese. So according to 247 Sports, Iowa has the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, and the sixth best player in the state of Iowa. And they are highly favored to land Brevendahl and Reese Vandersee, wide receiver out of uh, Central Leon, which is where Zach Lutmer went of the previous class. They're also he is not ranked by on three yet, but they are also very much favored to land him. Um, like I said, they're still in on Grant Bricks, but this is how 247 Sports sees it a little bit different uh than on three. There's some guys that they're higher on, some guys that they're not as high on. You know, for example, Preston Reese, uh, they see him as nearly a top five guy. They definitely see him as a top 10. Um, whereas 247 Sports sees him uh, outside of the top 10. I just want to click on his profile real quick because I'm interested. Um, and Rivals has him at number nine. Let's see if I, we can click on that. Looks like we can. See how Rivals ranks all these guys. I mean, this was updated in February, so for... Cody Fox is number one. Cam Buffington is three. Derek is four. Titus is five. They are much higher on Carson Brune than most of the other services are. Preston Reese is nine. Drew Campbell is 11. So, all right, guys, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, Drew Campbell, it's an excellent get. I, I have no doubt that he is going to be successful at the University of Iowa. He has all of the intangibles. He's six foot four, 225 pounds. I fully expect him to uh continue to grow um and i think he'll be probably six five six six by by the time he enters um enters high school uh and as long as and from what i have heard he has a lot of the same athletic gifts as his brother as well as the mental makeup um so i i am very confident uh in drew campbell's future at the university of iowa uh, and so far, the class is doing extremely well. I'll show you guys. Uh, the last thing I'll show you is how Iowa's class is ranked right now. Um, it's right now it's good all all around. Do they have a stud in this class? No, not necessarily, but it is good all the way around. They're twelfth according to two four seven sports, um, and according to on three. They are 20th. So, all right, guys, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Help your boy get to 2,000 subs by the start of next football season. I love all you guys. The women's basketball team, of course, made it to the national championship, which was totally awesome. Uh, it's always good to be an Iowa Hawkeye, and I will talk to you guys soon. And last but not least, DBAP, don't be a pussy willow and facts or feelings because your feelings just don't matter. Love you guys. See you guys next time. Go Hawks. Bye-bye.